Let's look at the human body. Most people have the same body parts. But we come in all shapes and sizes. People have a head. With two eyes. Two ears. A nose. A mouth and a chin. There is the neck from the head. To the shoulders. Most people then have two arms from their shoulders. The elbow is where we can bend the arms. The end of our arms are our hands. Where hands join our arms is called the wrist. Hands usually have four fingers and a thumb so we can do things. Fingers and thumbs all have nails. The top part of our body is called the chest at the front and the other side is the back. Further down are the hips. Between the chest and hips is called the waist. Most people have two legs. Where the legs bend are the knees. At the end of the legs are the ankles. Then the feet. Each foot having five toes. Every toe has nails. Can you label the parts of the body? Let's have a look inside the human body. A really important part of our body is the skeleton. 
which is made up of lots of bones. Adult skeletons normally have 206 bones. Babies have about 300 bones. Some join as they grow. The three smallest bones are in the ear. The skeleton gives us our shape and protects our insides. The skull protects our brain. Which is the organ that we use to think and learn? The rib cage protects some very important organs. The heart is the organ that pumps our blood around the body. The lungs take in and let out air. We can feel our chest moving when we breathe. The lungs take the oxygen from the air. The oxygen goes into the blood. The liver cleans the blood. The stomach is where you take in food. The kidneys take out waste from the blood. The spine is the set of bones in our backs. The spine helps us to stand up straight and bend. In our bodies we have muscles. that are attached to bones. Which help us to move. The strongest muscle is in our jaw, helping us chew. Can you label the inside parts of the body? Skeleton, skeleton, skeleton there. Skeleton, skeleton, skeleton there. Move your body one, two, three. And do the spooky skeleton dance with me. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Bend your knees and bend your elbows. Move your body one, two, three. And do the spooky skeleton dance with me. Yeah. Skeleton, skeleton, skeleton dance. Skeleton, skeleton, skeleton dance. Swing those arms and kick your legs. Shimmy your shoulders, turn your head. Move your body, one, two, three. Do the spooky skeleton dance with me. Skeleton, skeleton, skeleton dance. Skeleton, skeleton, skeleton dance. So move your body, shake those bones. Move around from head to toe. Move your body all day long. Good spooky skeleton song. Hey!
Clap your hands, stomp your feet, dancing to the skeleton beat, dancing, dancing all day long to the spooky skeleton song. Skeleton, skeleton, skeleton dance, skeleton, skeleton, skeleton dance. It's the spooky skeleton dance. wondered how our hearts pump blood? Well, today we will be making an easy human heart model that pumps blood. So you will need a small jar and a glass, two bendy straws, a red balloon, some glue or tape, some water, red food colouring and some toothpicks. This working heart pump model takes less than 20 minutes to make. So let's get started. Step 1. Fill the jar halfway with water and add some red food colouring to make it look like blood. Step 2. Take your balloon and cut the neck of it off. Now take the top part, stretch it out a bit, and put it over the top of the jar. Remember to save the neck part of the balloon for later. Did you know that laughing is good for your heart? It reduces stress, and gives a boost to your immune system. Step 3. Take a sharp toothpick and poke a hole in the top of the balloon, once towards one side of the jar. Now make a second hole about an inch away from the first. Step now take the straws and push one through each hole with the bendy part sticking out at the top. You might have to push hard, but they should pop through. Did you know that your heart will beat about 115,000 times each day? Step Take the neck of the balloon that you set aside and use it to cover the opening of one of the straws. Your pumping heart model is now ready to get that blood flowing. Step 6. Push up and down on the balloon between the two straws. Pumping quickly and firmly works best. Now watch the blood go up the open-ended straw and come out into the glass. The pumping you do on the balloon mimics how the heart pumps in our bodies. The balloon on the straw works like the valves on the heart. It opens when you push down on the pump and closes as you release. That was so easy, right? And you learned about how the human heart pumps blood. Well done! Goodbye!